Yo, welcome back to the show. I definitely want to give a shout out to DJ Paul. He was a former guest of the show. I definitely saluting him and his movement. Now we're moving on up to Pittsburgh, PA, the Steelers Nation. We want to welcome Lil D, the Prince, on the show. How you doing tonight? Good. I'm really, really excited to be on the show right now for one two stand up. All right. That's what's up, man. So tell us about yourself. Introduce yourself to the Hype Magazine audience and the Live by Terrence Show fans. For all of you who don't know, I go by the name of Lil D the Prince, Pittsburgh's own royalty. I just won Best Hip Hop Artist Under 21 a few years ago. I ain't trying to name drop, but the person before me that took that was Mac Miller. Shout out to him and his camp. Right now, I'm up for freshman of the year right now. I got four albums out. Working on my fifth one, slated to drop real soon, called The King's Son. What's going on? All right. So, what's up, man? So, how did it feel, you know, to be voted the, the best hip-hop artist? You know, it was a real a real pleasure to have the city support me because I didn't even I didn't even indulge in trying to trying to get uh people to vote for me that year. You know, it was it was three years coming uh, since since '08, I think, and you know I tried every year. Then then that year I just focused on my my other album that dropped, and we were just just working worried on us, worried about us. And next thing I know, I get an email like, "Hey man, you voted." You've been nominated to be voted for Best Hip Hop Artist Under 21. Crazy. Go down there with my crew from college. I'm in college right now, by the way, by the grace of God. And, you know, next thing I know, category comes up. My name is called. Man, everything just went black and white. And it was amazing, amazing feeling. All right. That's what's up, man. I know you say you're in college. I know you're on that full academic scholarship. So tell us about that, man. You know, you know, you've been there on the scholarship, so of course, you know, you got to keep those grades up. So how do you manage to to hit the books and also, you know, do your music stuff at the same time? A lot of time management. Um, I actually just ran back from the library to do this interview, uh, <laughs> and just a lot of just a lot of patience. Um, what I mean, what I mean by patience is that you gotta you gotta know when when to do something. And when not to do something, like I can get excited about uh, doing a new song, but I got to be like, all right, wait, I got, I got this test coming up. Let me let me crack down on these books real quick. And then as soon as I'm done with this, I can go back to doing what I love to do. So get your time management right, man. You can do anything you want to do. Now, do you perform in a well on campus at times or you mainly, uh, you know, keep it separate, separated from your schooling? No, I, I, I involve everything that I can going on in my life to, to work better for me. So, you know, I got I got everything working for me. You know, I'm in a position to where I'm I'm president of an organization and having that pool I got people, you know, wanting to me wanting me to perform because they know what I've done because I'm in their ear being in that position. So I just performed last Friday in uh Bill Hall, that's that's a venue that holds 616 people, you know, and I opened up for Black Violin. These fellas just performed at Obama's inauguration, and that that was a blessing to be able to do that, and and various other places around campus, man. I'm a little bit of a hot commodity. Now, what what was the feeling like, you know, performing at Obama's inauguration? You know, what, what kind of feelings was flowing through your body during that time? Well, me personally, I haven't performed at his inauguration, but I will soon in the future <laughs> for another president. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the, sorry. <laughs> the, fellas, the fellas that I opened up for, Black Violin, they performed at Obama's inauguration. And it, it was just just like being right there, the, the stories that they that they told me uh, while we were backstage, you know. So it, it was a great experience for them. Um, this, this is the second time I got to perform with, uh, people who uh, performed at an inauguration prior to this, uh, many years ago, I performed with a fellow by the name of Peter Yarrow, uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. All the kids on the line, ask your parents about that. That's Puff the Magic Dragon right there. Okay. All right. Now, we got this track that we're going to play for your 
your fans, but we know we're gonna you know tease them a little bit. We're gonna hold off. We ain't gonna play it for them yet. But uh, who are you looking forward to work to uh, working with in the future? You know, I know you have uh, worked with some some well-renowned artists. You know that has you know performed at inauguration. So who, who are you scoping you know to bring into your camp to work with? Um, you know what I I like people who are really creative. So the people that I would love to work with. Uh, you know, of course, it would be Drake for me. It's a big inspiration, a little bit. Uh, big Sean, those two, those two fellas right there are, are really, uh, really good mo- role models for me as far as like pushing the envelope uh, in creativity area. Now, who did you look up to? You know, when you was um, younger, um, in age, uh, who, who was somebody that you, you was vibing with? And now, in the present day, who, who are you still looking up to? At this moment, <laughs> my mom will tell you I was in front of the TV in those pajamas, watching Snoop Dogg do his thing on the TV and Bone Thugs and Harmony. Them two okay. right there, them, them two right there, couldn't get enough of them. Couldn't get enough of them. And right now, uh, you know, I, I really, I really try to go back and listen to. The, to the people who a lot of people look up to, uh, as far as like, as far as Jay Z goes, I'm gonna use that one for an example. I, you know, I listen to all of his albums as of late, and you know, I've been stuck on that Kingdom Come album and that and that Blueprint album. So I want to say, I can I can say uh, now he's a he's a role model for me right now. And uh, of course, like I just said, Drake and Big Sean, but but those those three guys right now are are, are great listens. Well, we got some callers for you, man, if you want to take some tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, always. <laughs> All right, we're going to start with the first caller. The last four digits is 5504. You're on the air with the Ruler T and Lil D, the Prince. How you doing tonight? Hey, I'm good. My name's Sean Victory. What's up, yo? What's up? What's up? You have a you have a comment or a question? Yeah, I got a question for uh, Lil D. Uh, okay. How many Grammys do you plan on getting before the end of the term? Well, I want to say I don't I don't want to uh, discourage anybody, but as far as these Grammys go, I'm looking to get everyone that they presenting at the award show come when I blow up to the end of my time. I hear that. That's what's up. Are there any shout outs you would like to get? I'm like to give. Uh, I want to give a shout out to the Le Leu crew. You know, Lil D, of course. That's my brother. And uh, Pirate Gang, that's my family. That's about it. Pittsburgh. All right. Oh, okay. Well, that's what's up, man. Um, Thank you for calling to the show tonight. Oh, uh, yeah, no problem, man. Appreciate All it. All right. Appreciate it. We got another caller from 2224. You're on the air with the Ruler T and Lil D the Prince. How you doing tonight? Good, man. Good as for What's going on, y'all? Uh, no much. Living good, man. Living good. You have a question <laughs> or a comment? I got one comment for Lil D, um. Yeah. We all are waiting heavy for the King's Son. We're trying, we're trying to get it on blast, man. We need that CD in these streets. Ah, uh, yeah, I appreciate that, man. You know it's coming soon. We uh, we had to push the push the release date back because we about to get this commercial up on TV. So we get that pumping, get the uh, get the word out a little bit more, man. And you're gonna have it right on that iTunes playlist. I can assure you that. Yeah, I know oh, we're looking bro. forward. I know we're looking forward too. You know, the King's son. Uh, caller, is it a shout-out you would like to give? Oh, uh, yeah. Just shout-out to Lil D, man. Keep doing your thing. We're waiting for you. And check us all out on something we all got dot com. Okay. That's what it is. All right. That's what's up. Well, thank you for calling to the show tonight. No problem. All right, man. So tell us about this King's son. Uh, what, what all can we uh, expect, you know, as far as the sound and the style that you're going to bring out to us? Okay. Well, not only did Mac win the award that I won, Wiz Khalifa always uh, also won it years ago, and his producer Sledgerin produced this CD for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really excited that I was able to collab with him. It's it's going to be hot. Uh, also, I got my homie out in the UK. He produced the track off of that, and um, it's a little bit of everything for everybody. You know, we 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 push the envelope with this. I I like to think. Shout out to Big Meech for recording every track, mixing and mastering every track. It's 
it's a beautiful project, man, and the, the streets is going to love it, embrace it, and rejoice it. So I can really say about it. Okay, well, that's what's up. We're going to take a quick station break, and we'll be right back. Yo, welcome back to Turntable Tuesdays with the Ruler T. We want to welcome Lil D the Prince back into the studio. Yeah. All right, man, we got this track from you, man, called Rapunzel, man. Tell us about this one. This one right here, I just I wanted to do a little something different for the ladies, something for the club. I wanted to tie in a little bit of fairy tale with it to bring it up to speed. That's really it. This is off the King Sun right here. You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoy this. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Now, are there any shout-outs you'd like to give tonight? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Shout out Big Meech. That's my pops, my producer, my mentor, my best friend. Shout out to my homie O'Shea. Shout out to Sean uh, Victory. There we go. Shout out to the whole LU camp, 412, Cal U, my school. And especially, a hey, shout out my family. But also, real quick, congrats to Wiz Khalifa on his new baby, baby boy, uh, Sebastian, I think. That's that's one more that's one more uh, legend we can bring up in Pittsburgh, you know, right there. And shout out to everybody tuned into your show, man. Shout out to you. I appreciate that, man. No doubt. And where can we find you online? You can find me everywhere. LilDitaPrince.com. Uh, something we all got. That blogspot.com. I got some interviews and stuff on there. Uh, YouTube. Lil Dita Prince. I got mad videos. Almost a hundred. Um, Twitter. Lil D the Prince 412, Instagram, Lil D the Prince, uh, Reverb Nation, all type of blog spots, all type of interviews on all these different sites, man. You can Google my name. I probably got like 50 pages. Lil D the Prince. Don't forget the name. All right. That's what's up. You know, when you drop that album, man, The King's Son, you, you're going to have to come back on the show and bring us some tracks so we can sit down and talk about it and celebrate it. Okay. No doubt, man. Hey, I, I'm i more than happy to do that because you show me love. I got to show you love, man. It's just like just like when I was on the Batman movie. They they showed me love, so I, I went and made a CD dedicated to that experience. Um, so, hey, shout out to the, to the producers of the Batman movie for letting me be a part of that for them two weeks. And, um, Hey, shout out, shout out Mac Miller, of course, for supporting me. You can go see that video on YouTube. I appreciate that. Uh, that's that's really it. So when I get that album dropping, I'm gonna be the first one to come to you. You're gonna be the first person. All right, that's what's up. And I'm gonna let you introduce your track, and I just want to tell you, thank you for taking the time to come on Turntable Tuesdays. And you know, like I just said before, you're welcome to come back on anytime. Hey, no doubt, man. Um, hey, shout out to the whole Hype Magazine Nation. This track right here is my baby off of the King Sun Rapunzel. I love you, and I hope you enjoy this. Let's go. I could be your nation, but I ain't trying to save you. Heard you got the fire, I'm just trying to slay you. Hit it on the balcony, something like Rapunzel. Nothing that you used to Rapunzel, let your head out Shawty, let it down Rapunzel, let your head out Shawty, let it down Rapunzel, let your head out Shawty, let it down Rapunzel, let your head out She's super fine like a pen tip Lay her down to some parchment Dot her eyes, cross her T's Giving her that novelist nice. Her body great like Shakespeare I'm just trying to recite this Like she was the round table I just came one night This man She dropping my jaw Wish she bend it over now Now She dropping her thumb like a car with no service Maybe cause I'm about to blow up like an insurgent She grabbed my roller quarter Said insert all of it I be hitting that hole right Speedball game just too nice, my bedroom's the carnival No line, she ride twice I'm Dr. Seuss with these girls Girls, This is how my night went One pipe, three chicks, they dudes Too sick, I'm on like her time of month But I ain't got no cramps G, my wallet is my pad It stay filled with the Kelly Green Shorty wanna ride, cause I be on my BP I have been living that premium Lifestyle since 9-3 I ain't trying to know, but I ain't trying to save you Heard you got the fire I'm just trying to slay you Hit it on the balcony Something like Rapunzel 
Nothing that you used to Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Wind it down when I'm with you, with you. French kiss and Moscato I come correct when I text her like my first name was Otto Now I'm all up in her iPhone Wallpaper to ringtone First it was a nightcap Now she calling it iHome I love it when your hair down All natural, no tracks And when I push it real good You know I gotta pull all that Other girls, Sophie, yeah, the pepper in my cabinet But I ain't switching a recipe without you It's tasteless Girl, you such a jackpot Best believe I'm all in I play my cards like James Bond Best believe I'm gon' win Been trying to find you like Nemo Nemo For the wait, I'm sorry Sorry, get these haters like Dory Girl, you hide it in Wasabi Looking like my princess Unless you're working for Disney Well, please put in your two weeks I need you to come with me Like your parents when they mad at you Best believe I'm serious Rapunzel, let me show you What a real fairy tale ending is I ain't trying to know But I ain't trying to save you Heard you got that fire I'm just trying to slay you Hit it on the balcony Something like Rapunzel Nothing that you used to Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Rapunzel let your head down Shawty let it down Yeah, it's your boy ST to the Y-N-G R-A-Y Stingray Chilling with my man Terrence LBT Radio for Life. Let's go. Yeah, welcome back to Turntable Tuesdays. I definitely want to give a, a special thanks to Lil D the Prince.